PHR reports that Dolph Lundgren is making a return to studio movies, joining the cast of James Wan's Aquaman alongside Jason Momoa. Lundgren will play King Narius of the aquatic kingdom Zebel, claiming Aquaman's Queen Mera as his own while also wanting to kill him. The veteran action star joins a cast that includes Nicole Kidman as Aquaman's mother, Patrick Wilson as Aquaman's half-brother Orm, Amber Heard's Mera, Willem Dafoe's Vol Dr. Volko, and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as the classic villain Black Manta. The movie is set for release on December 21st, 2018. Jason, buy or sell Dolph Lundgren in Aquaman. 100% buy. Yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. have been I must watched, sink you. Yeah, 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 I must sink you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, will, I will drown you. Uh, um, if you've been watching Arrow this season, Dolph Lundgren has been one of the villains, and he has been fantastic in this world. And it's one of these ideas where you're just like, man, why has it taken us this long from since He-Man to put Dolph Lundgren <laughs> back into a superhero movie? Um, the interesting point about this is that they could be setting him up as a villain for a future Aquaman movie mm -hmm. because there is a storyline in the comic books, and I think this is the storyline they're going to do for the movie where Orm, Ocean Master, is the main villain of this, this movie. Mm -hmm. He goes to... Um, I don't know, Narius. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes to Narius and is like, hey, help me uh, take over Atlantis. And Narius helps him. Uh, and, and it's kind of like fighting for Mara's hand mm, a little yeah. bit about this movie. So I like, like I think that... Dolph Lundgren is going to be like the like kind of setting up for Aquaman 2, Aquaman 3 villain, and that's a brilliant choice. This guy is a great actor. He has amazing presence. Make him a superhero villain. Oh my god, I love I. So I was about to send the the show notes out, and then this broke, and oh, I was wow. like, ah! <laughs> just change everything around <laughs> because yes, Ivan Drago, hell yes, I buy this. And what I love, he he then tweets soon after. He's like, well, Dolph. Short for dolphin, join me in ocean. I'm like, <laughs> oh wow, yeah. <laughs> and he's funny. Yeah. So uh, I, I love this idea. But the the only concern I have, and Jason, you were touching on it though, is first it was reported that he's kind of a villain, mm -hmm. um, and then kind of James Wan tweets out uh, to a fan and says, no, mm -hmm. not quite a villain. So then you bring up some interesting stuff from the source material. Yeah. But I also see Ocean Masters in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we also have Black uh, Black Mantis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Black Manta. Manta. Yeah. Sorry. So. How too many villains or uh, like well, where is Black Manta fitting I into think this? Black, well, they're either going to do one of two things, and, okay. and and if you notice, the synopsis hasn't really revealed which way they're going to go. Mm -hmm. Either Ocean Master is going to be the main villain, and Black Manta is going to be kind of like Mordo was in Doctor Strange, like kind of okay. like you know, or they're going to flip it the other way. I hope this is what they do. I hope Black Manta is the villain because in the comic books. Aquaman kills Black Manta's father. That mm -hmm. is a great way to open up this revenge quest for the villain. Yeah. And then Ocean Master is buds with Aquaman, just like he is in the comic books, and then he turns over the course of this movie. Right. Wow. You know? Oh, yeah. So that's, I like the this. Way, that's the way I hope they go, because Black Manta is such a, a, an iconic... Like, if he is Aquaman's Joker, so, like, you need yeah. to open the first movie with him. Got it. You know a lot about this DC stuff. You should host a show or something. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I like it. Hey, I know Josh McCuga. You you just see Ivan Drago and you're excited. Do, do you buy you buy this? If he drowns, he drowns. Yeah, I love that. Um, <laughs> the, I think what we're witnessing right now is the Lengranasans. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. To Roko we go. No, yep. No, no. <laughs> Boom. Just take it. Just take it. You, you no, know? I, I'm the second one. Inman said uh, he's great in Arrow this season. Um, I think he he is having an awesome comeback. He's been great in the Expendables movies. Love him. I honestly, I know that Masters of the Universe He Man was crushed. Uh, it, it is terrible in most people's eyes. But he was a great He Man. He's it built, was fun. He's yeah. It, it was, was fun. fun. What uh, can he do? But I would, uh, I, I think this is great. Uh, the Aquaman franchise is the franchise that I look forward to most in the second part of this DC Jeff Johns, the mm -hmm. Jeff Johnisons. I, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> Can't, have you noticed that Aquaman is the only movie that doesn't seem to be having problems? It just keeps casting. It keeps going. At like James Wan's on Twitter, going, "My God, this is fun," and everything seems to be smooth sailing with Aquaman. Hey, that's kind of a pun. Roka, what oh, do you think? That is a good pun. Do you um, like Dolph Lundgren? Do you buy it? Okay. What are your feelings on the Lundgrana sense there, John? I, how about this? I'm going to lease with an option to buy. There's oh, a reason my man has been doing straight-to-DVD movies for three decades. Like, Ooh. there's a reason for this. He's not the greatest actor. He is good in certain parts. Yes, he was great as Drago, but he didn't say much. If you watch the movie, Brigitte Nielsen is doing most of the talking. And so this is, this is the thing. He's great as a strong, silent type. He's great in Expendables. Oh, my God, but you don't go see Expendables for this amazing acting, even though there are some good acting from Jean-Claude Van Damme in the 
second one, and definitely Gibson in the third one. But like, you're going to have fun with these old action heroes that you remember from the 80s and 90s. That's a great time. My concern is I wonder how big his part is going to be because the reason he's good on Arrow is because some actors can just do TV and can't do film. Some actors just have this kind of, they don't have that extra thing. And I wonder about this with Dolph Lundgren. Now, that being said, I buy. I am super excited for him to be in this to see what he can do with it because mm -hmm. I would like him to be successful mm -hmm. with it. I would like him to do and just like uh, you said, and I think Josh said, like there's the, the Aquaman one is the one that even the trailer for Justice League, the Aqu Aquaman stands out. Momoa stands yeah, out really, yeah. really well. So I'm looking forward to see what he can do with this. And just to go on what Jason said, he is the leader of this group called the Zebels. I think is how yeah, it's pronounced. Yeah, they're from Zebel. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're an mm -hmm. exiled group of Atlanteans, and Mero was a part of them. So there is go he's going to be like swimming around. Around these all these <laughs> characters so it's it, i think it's a great casting decision to see what can happen but i'm leasing with an option by until i see him in a trailer and see what he does i John, think he's only in 15 minutes of this movie yeah probably yeah. if that yeah, yeah. So, why do you right. act like you are so very good and we are so very bad <laughs> Look, yeah, nielsen we, rocky we, we don't kick people behind <laughs> machine guns <laughs> 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 good follow. Oh, good. nice